Hey guys, so welcome to my second reading vlog. So, first of all, you should know that I changed my mind a lot. And so, after I finished um, last week's reading vlog and finally finished The Eighth Habit, I felt like I could continue reading self-help books. So, I am not reading Wondersmith, and I don't think I'll read Things Fall Apart for a while, because I have decided to read The Secret, which is the book that is next in line in my self-help TBR. I started reading The Secret. I'm actually halfway through The Secret, so um, it's perfect because I did say that I will film whenever I reach a halfway point in a book and when I finished it, right? I'm halfway through The Secret, and honestly, I didn't expect this at all, but I'm loving The Secret. It's so weird. A little ba background, so last time I said I knew about The Secret from a documentary film thing that my one of my uncles watched. And basically, reading the, um, the book so far, I'm pretty sure it's kind of a tr like a transcript of the movie. So the movie, I'm pretty sure, is like interviewing different really successful people. And it's kind of a combination or like kind of a montage of everything they say and they, how they all kind of connect. That sounds super vague, but that's kind of what it is. Basically, the secret is about there's the secret successful people have to be successful, right? And the author, Rhonda Byrne, she kind of traced how that secret was used by the most successful people throughout the ages. And I'll be honest, whenever the book um, talks about the secret itself, like, for example, saying like, the secret is so powerful, or the secret is the key to success and all this stuff. Whenever the words the secret was mentioned, it was and like, yeah, 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 like, just let, let's get on to the actual stuff. Like, tell me how, you know, how to better my life, be successful, help myself, and things like that. But other than that, the secret is really good. It's really straightforward, a nice refresher from The Eighth Habit. Um, it's really straightforward, really brief, and it just has a lot of good insights and advice. So basically, um, The Secret, I don't think this is necessarily like a spoiler thing since this is a self-help book. Basically, The Secret is a law of attraction. Basically, um, whatever you think, you attract. And I know that sounds super simplistic, but The Secret does a really good job of saying that, no, here's why. And I just love how I get kind of the same with the eighth habit, but I guess presented in a better way. I love how it kind of sends the message that you are in control of your life, of, of your destiny, of your purpose. And so I'm gonna keep reading The Secret. Um, I'm probably gonna finish it today. So registration for school um, started yesterday and usually this time of the school year, I get super, super stressed. That's why I've read um, halfway through The Secret. Um, because aside from stress eating, I also stress read sometimes. Also, um, I'm about to finish, since we're already filming this, I'm about to finish James and the Giant Peach. I'll probably finish it today. Um, same thing as last week. I'm really loving it because of Taika Waititi's um, narration along with his co with co-stars and popular people. The last one I listened to was um, one with Yo-Yo Ma playing the cello and it was really nice. It was really cool to um, hear Yo-Yo Ma play um, for, a, for an audiobook sort of thing, recording. And so I'll update you guys in the next video. So it's still the same day today, but um, I finished listening to James and the Giant Peach um, just a, a few hours later, um, a few hours earlier. <laughs> And um, still pretty much the same. I loved it, but I don't think I can give it an honest rating um, just because I enjoyed the reading um, on YouTube by Taika Waititi very much. Um, right now, I think I'll give it a, f I think I've given it on Goodreads a four out of five. So um, you'll see a little bit more of my review over there, but pretty much what I say there is the same as what I've said here in this video. I only have like 50 pages left roughly um, for The Secret. And honestly, it I love the book. There's some parts that I'm like, hmm, okay, whatever, kind of annoying. But I think the overall message is just really powerful. I think the message is mainly like the power of thought. Um, it talks a little bit about the placebo effect. And I know that's kind of a controversial topic. Some people believe that thoughts have having Thoughts have a lot of power. Others don't think they're that powerful. But 
I believe that our thoughts largely affect our reality and our life experience. So it's re a really fascinating read. I don't know that I um, read the next books um, in the series of, of The Secret. Um, I don't know if it's a series of... It, it just says in Goodreads that it's the first book in a series. I don't know how many books it is, but I don't know if I'll read those. Um, I might just put it in my TBR if, you know, in the future I... You know, run out of things to read, which I doubt would happen. But there's that. Also, I forgot to mention um, in my earlier video, because I noticed that my last reading vlog had, I talked about roughly seven books, and that is a lot. So I just keep my reading vlogs whenever I finish up to four books. I'll compile the videos, edit them, then upload them. So, so that is not an overwhelming amount of books in a reading vlog. I'll be listening to Man's Search for Happiness by Victor E. Frankel. I think it's a pretty popular book. I think it's a classic. I'm not sure. I'm not even sure. It might even be self-help. Um, it's. I'm pretty sure it's inspirational and kind of philosophical too. So I'll be listening to that. I'm, I'm kind of excited because one of my favorite booktubers, um, X Catherine Reads, I'll, le I'll leave a link to her channel down below. She loves that book and she loved that book when she read it. And so I'll be listening to uh, Man's Search for Meaning. I think I might have said happiness earlier, but Man's Search for Meaning by Victor E. Frankel next. So, bye. I was super stressed yesterday, so I didn't get to film. <sighs> but I'm catching up today, and thankfully, I got notes. So, I finished um, The Secret by Rhonda Byrne, Byrne, whatever. Um, gosh, I don't remember. Um, the other day, I think. And um, here's what I thought. Okay, so... If you've seen the poem by um, popular poet Tom Foolery or Thomas Robert Roberts, um, the case oh, a tale of two mindsets, that's pretty much the secret. Basically, the message of the book was instead of focusing on what you're fighting against, focus on what you're fighting for. Um, it talks a lot about um, positivity. It's really just optimistic. And the thing is, the thing I love about The Secret is that it was super direct. It's not too deep. I mean, some, some people appreciate like really deep philosophical discussions on things, but I appreciated the simplicity of The Secret. There, there are some parts that I was like, I rolled my eyes really hard, like, okay, yeah, whatever, like, you know, like, there are some things that just have their limitations, and that no matter how much you think, or how much you hope, and things like that, um, some things are still going to happen, right? Um, but I love how this book really helped me see that our life experience is largely shaped by our thinking, how we perceive the world. Um, it's kind of similar to the eighth habit, um, that we are not, we are a product of our choices and that includes, um, our choice of thoughts and we're not just, you know, a victim of the world of, and how the world works. So I gave the secret a four out of five. I can totally understand if people don't like the book. Uh, I know it's had, um, mixed reviews, um, but... Um, for me, it was just something that I kind of needed, and I've tried to apply the principles um, for the past few days, like, because it's been stressful, it's, it's, it's been stressful, instead of being, like, complaining about everything, like, oh, why does this have to happen? Just like, okay, just be in the moment, what are you going to do next? Like, this happened, this terrible thing happened, what are you going to do about it? And just like, once you've made your decision, move forward and be happy, right? So I really love how much this could has helped me in terms of that. So, so that's how you do self-help people, not like we don't need like a really large complicated diagram. Just tell me what to think and to present it in a really effective way. So there's my review for The Secret. Last night I finished reading, um, <laughs> I started yesterday, the other day, I started reading Enola Holmes, um, the first book, The Case of the Missing Marquis. Um, and I, I read it as part of, um, I have a, I'm in a Goodreads group called Middle Grade Madness, and it's our book of the month. And it's also in preparation for when um, the movie with Millie Bobby Brown, Henry Cavill, and um, Sam Claflin comes out um, next month, I think, um, of Enola Holmes. Oh, and Helen Bonham Carter, of course. Um, and so I read it. It's really short, um, really straightforward. 
if you watch the trailer, you'll already kind of have an idea of what the story um, of Enola Holmes is about. There are a few differences, and my main conclusion is that I feel like the movie adaptation is going to be much better than the book because the movie, um, just I, I've just watching the trailer, just added a lot, a lot more elements to the story because the book just felt really bland, really slow moving. Um, it felt like just setting up for the rest of the series, which I don't know if the Enola Holmes series is, if each book is related or if they're just like separate books, kind of like Nancy Drew. But I rated the book um, a flat three out of five. Um, I There were some really cool and funny parts, um, but I didn't enjoy it. It was just like, oh, this is kind of fun. Like, okay, what happened next then? Yeah, that happened. There's also not a lot of um, emotions. Um, I liked a few characters, but by the end, it left me unsatisfied because at the beginning, we had this one goal, right? And then some things happen, and then suddenly you have this like little side goal. And then at the end, you accomplish the side goal, and you don't fulfill the main goal that you were that, that the main character, Enola, was going for. So it was just really confusing. And, and it was like, how do you expect me to like that story? Because I was expecting to fulfill that main goal um, and we didn't even get there. We just <laughs> accomplished the goal and the other side goal that we didn't really care about too much. So those are my thoughts on Enola Holmes. Um, I started reading um, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. It's another self-help book since it's still self-help September. Um, I haven't listened, started listening to Man's Search for Meaning yet, but I might today. Um, it's kind of a busy day because school started today. Um, and I just crammed this into my schedule during this vlog, so I'll see you in the next video. So I felt like wearing red today, and so forgive the collar com combination, it probably hurts your eyes. Also, I'm like super close to the fan, you can probably hear it from there, but deal with it because the Philippines. Anyway, I've had a hard time finishing Think and Grow Rich. I'm only in chapter five and um, I'm gonna put it off for a while and I'll explain my reasons later. It's kind of an exciting announcement. Anyway, but I did finish listening to Man's Search for Meaning by Victor E. Frankel and oh, it was just awesome. Uh, I have my notes here, but um, I don't think I'll look at them because the feelings are still fresh. So Man's Search for Meaning is apparently about a psychologist's experience um, living in a Nazi concentration camp and oh man he talks so much about about life in general there's like a lot of things that he talks about he talks about fear despair hope humor love sacrifice suffering um, sadness and happiness and all of these things in really really profound way and uh, this was okay this was a satisfying but at the same time, like, really painful read. Um, it was a really heart-wrenching read um, because you're learning so much from this person's experience living in a concentration camp, but <laughs> I, you feel, I feel so bad and feel so ashamed that I'm only learning these things through the suffering of another. And I've learned that there are a lot of things that I hope that we learn just as human beings from the experiences of others. I mean, we shouldn't wait until we see others, other people suffering before we learn certain things because a lot of the things that were taught there were just like really basic moral truths, but they just hit harder because of a person's suffering. And that, that's not, that shouldn't happen. Um, but really, I appreciated so much how much I learned um, from Man's Search for Meaning. Um, there's two parts. The first part is um, the author's um, experiences um, in a concentration camp, and the second part is kind of, it was more like a lecture on um, logotherapy. I, I didn't enjoy that as much as I did the first part, but it was still insightful. Um, so I recommend it to everyone. I'll be honest, this is a book that I probably won't reread or I'm not gonna like fangirl over, but I'm just glad and grateful that I did read it and I'll recommend it to anyone. I might have contradicted myself, but um, here's the real reason why I did not finish Think and Grow Rich because, so I entered this sort of raffle thing um, by this book and I 
I'll leave a link to their page, Facebook page and website in the description below. So this book is, it's based in the Philippines, so if you're not from the Philippines, then you'll, you won't be able to access their services. But anyway, um, they give out free books um, for those who want them in exchange for book reviews that these people who will receive the books will give them and then they'll be featured, those reviews will be featured on their website. And I just entered it, I entered it and just like put my, I sent an email and um, did all these things. And then yesterday I found out that I won a copy of uh, the book, I re one of the books I requested was Ink Death. And so I will be starting um, an Ink World trilogy, that's Ink Heart, Ink Spell, and Ink Death. I will start an Ink World um, sort of readathon. If you'd like to join me, please do. I'll be reading that. I'm excited to receive the book. I'll be starting Ink Heart today, and um, but I'll talk more about that in a separate video. The video that will be just dedicated to my readathon of um, the Ink World trilogy. So I'm excited for that. So Think and Grow Rich will be put on hold until I finish that. Think and Grow Rich uh, will probably be how I end my self-help September, which is a bummer because there are other self-help books that I wanted to get to, but um, that'll be it for now. So if you like this kind of content, you want to follow me in my reading journey, please like, comment, share, subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.